Hey, this is pretty cool. We're hanging out at the Grammy Museum in LA with Alessia Cara. Hello. Hi. Now, it is so good to finally be speaking to you on the radio because last time I saw you, we were just casually having some lunch. Yeah, that I was remember. How times have changed. I know, right? Look well, at this. I, I can, okay, so it's changed quickly for me because I'm like, I remember the girl just never had Japanese before this moment and, yeah, now, exactly now. and now everything is blowed up, blown up. That's blowed is not a word. Blown, everything blown is blown up. up around the world and you have had a pretty crazy, let's say, last couple of months. Yeah, definitely pretty crazy, especially since since we last saw each other, it's been kind of insane, but yeah. great, yeah. Um, now, you, I, the last time I spoke to you, you were in New York, mm -hmm. um, and the blizzard was on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you survive? You survived. You're here. Clear, yeah, I've survived the blizzard. Good. Made it through, but it was it was bad. It was a bad blizzard. It yeah. wasn't. It? Did yeah. you Did you go out and play in the snow? Isn't that like everyone's dream to like run around New York with no one on the street? I guess so, but I was so sick. So I couldn't. Okay. Because I had laryngitis, so I couldn't even go outside and play. You're all right now, though. I am, yes. I'm okay. Okay. Hey, yet. can I ask, do you have a highlight of the craziest, of the last few months? Have you got a highlight at all? Hmm. Oh, my goodness. Probably Taylor Swift. The Taylor Swift thing was sure. kind of insane. Yeah. That, that was amazing. Yeah. I got to sing on stage with Taylor Swift. And her calling you out like that and just going, yeah. I love this girl. She's awesome. Yeah. That was definitely like mind blowing. <laughs> did, did anyone tell you that was going to happen before it did or it was in the works? Or? Um, no, she just, she just DM'd me. Like we were just DMing. So she asked really? me. Really? Yeah, yeah. Has anyone other still sneaky celebrities just snuck their way into your DMs <laughs> over the time? Um, A couple, a couple, but not in like a weird, creepy way. Just like no. in, a, in an awesome way. Yeah. It's fine. I, yeah. I live for the day that a sneaky celeb just wins their way into my DMs. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's the awesome. only time I ever got a sneaky DM from a celeb was Niall from One Direction. Whoa, that's awesome! And that's that was because one. he was in Australia early, and he was listening to me. And I put in the gossip report that he had arrived in Australia, and he asked me, "Can you please not tell everyone that uh, I'm in Australia?" Oh, <laughs> so not so awesome. <laughs> not so awesome. No, not so awesome. But that's uh, my one sneaky celebrity in the DM. That was moment. still a pretty good one, though. It I mean, was come pretty on. damn good. Yeah. Um, now you've been playing a whole bunch of shows around the place. Uh, you came to Australia, as I said, at the, towards the end of last year. Is Australia on the radar for some full-blown shows for you? Is it something you want to come back and do? Yeah, oh my gosh, of course. Yeah. I was there for a few days and it was like gorgeous and beautiful and the people were so nice. Definitely, I would love to. Talk to me about the Grammys. This is the first time your music career has been at such a place mm -hmm. where you get sucked. Am, am I right in saying that you get sucked up into the whole Grammy fever and pre-Grammy mm -hmm. parties and Grammy brunches? Definitely, and yeah. Now, I know you went to a Grammy brunch with Troy Sivan, Tick, Demi Lovato was there. Tick, is there any? I, I, did you have to psych yourself up for, for said lunch? Don't have any food in my teeth. I'm <laughs> yeah. not eating at this lunch. I don't care what they put in front of me. This is a non-eating event. Yeah, you just have to just smell just it. Just sing. Yeah, smell it and sing. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm yeah, definitely eating involved. But okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you want to hang around? Do you want to hang around a little bit longer with us? Because when we come yeah. back, I want to get to uh, get Australia to learn a little bit more about you. How does that sound? Yeah. Oh my gosh, amazing. Um, all right, now let's get Australia to learn a little bit more about you. These cool. are highly pivotal, judgmental questions that we will forever hold you to. Okay. Do you eat grapes for free at the supermarket while you're shopping? Yes. Okay, good. I really you, do. you are welcome in our country. <laughs> I uh, do that. <laughs> everyone oh my does. Oh my goodness, um, thank goodness. Have you ever cried in the movie The Notebook? I've never watched The Notebook before. See, I don't know if we could be friends. Really? I feel like it's something that's a coming of age story really? that everyone must watch. Have you cried to it? I, oh, absolutely. But I, I just have never been Has intrigued it, enough to watch it. If Ryan Gosling was begging for me to stay, I'd be crying too. I know, that's true. I would, I would um, cry too. Do you have a favorite TV show that you like to binge watch? Um, Friends. Really? Every single episode. I'm sure that the first time that was on TV, you were barely old enough or even if in existence for it to... <laughs> for it to yeah. the last, I think the last five seasons, my parents would watch all the time. Like They okay. were hardcore fans. And I'd watch it with them and I... Like, didn't get it. I did. Oh, you did get I it. I would laugh at the joke. Okay, cool. I mean, I didn't get them as much. Like, there's a lot of, like, innuendos that I didn't understand before. As an adult now, you're like, yeah. ah. <laughs> That's what it oh, was. Oh, that was Chandler, laughing at something funny. different as a child. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, here's a juicy question. Do you ever lie to your management so they don't know where you are? Oh, they always know where I am because okay. they're always with me. So <laughs> okay. That's the yeah. answer. No. Never. Sometimes I did. It didn't end very well. <laughs> uh, do you let your people take over your Instagram, Twitter, and pretend to be you? Absolutely not. Because they are not allowed the password. Okay, because oh, they don't even have the password. No, no, I they don't can't even do that. like a phantom post. No, 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 no. All right, because that's good. Because sometimes when the, the busier you get, try and stay that because people then go, ah, oh, management post, management tweet. No, 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 never, never. That's not allowed. I don't. Um, <laughs> I get so 
paranoid. Yes, you and you'd get yeah. eaten alive too. The yeah. the Twitter people, I like know, this, they know they can sense. They the can fake. smell yeah, it. They, they can, can smell management. Yeah, they can. All over. <laughs> they can. Um, speaking of smell, uh, have you ever not washed your hands after going to the toilet? Probably. In yeah, life. I, 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 I always try to though. I, I hate. I, I like. I'm kind of a germaphobe when it comes to that. Kind sure. Of stuff. No, but th- I've been to some toilets where it's probably you'd catch more by washing your hands. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Than if you just walked out. I'm sure. Just yeah. with your own stuff all over yeah, you. I'm so sure it's um, happened. That's, I'm not going there. <laughs> um, have you ever lifted, i.e., gym and the weights? Have I ever lifted at the, like weights? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I have. I mean, not many, like maybe like five pounds. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. More than that. I have. I'm trying to now. I'm actually, now that we're on tour, yeah. I'm trying to get um, some of the band members to help me train because they're more athletic. Okay, more. nice. And then last question, so Australia can fall in love with you. Have you ever Googled yourself? I have. What did you find? <laughs> some like lots of things about my clothes. Okay. And, like, did not, you, not did you get any things. feedback or criticism? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not I've got to work on that. People, we need to work on my clothes. <laughs> yeah, like not the greatest things on my clothes. Um, and a lot of just like magazine articles about like, oh, Alessia hates parties and a lot about how I'm miserable at parties and stuff. But it's, Are you? I'm not. Though. I don't think you I would I think be. it's just a lot of misquoting stuff. Well, I mean, you're 19 <laughs> and half the parties you would go to are in LA. You can't have a drink. I'd be miserable too. That's, I guess. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I, I'm, I mean, certain parties I'm, I'm not that into. No. And I also found a lot of like creepy Facebook pictures that, are, are privated. I don't know how people can find them. Oh, shut up. Really? Yeah, it's really scary. I don't know how they How they get out. That's nuts. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, like old ones from like eighth grade and... and Ah, things, yeah. you know what you need to do? What? You need to do the Facebook shutdown, Facebook rebirth. Yeah, I need to. I did that. <laughs> I did the rebirth on Facebook. You, did. you don't get, look, you, you know what? And when you become friends with people, sure, you don't have many memories mm. on this day six years ago. You can't share that. That's true, yeah. But does anyone really want to share a photo of what they look like six years ago? <laughs> no, no, not me. <laughs> That's <laughs> not for sure. Not me either. Yeah. Not me either. Not hey, well, have an amazing Grammys week. Uh, thank thank you. you so much for chatting to us. I appreciate it. I'm so stoked with how your career is going. It is only going to get bigger and better for you. Thank you. That's very sweet. Live from LA.